What exactly is direct indexing? Well, direct indexing, we'll, we'll talk about kind of in its simplest form. Um, it, it's really a concept that's been around for quite a while, a long, long time with kind of a new name on it. Um, a long time ago and still to today, there is what's called separately managed accounts that have been very popular in the financial services community. And what these are, these accounts are managed to a certain specific style or strategy where they, the managers of those strategies go out and pick individual stocks to try to uh, basically beat a specific uh, certain market or benchmark that out, that's out there that they're trying to um, you know, target. Uh, they're not trying to get the returns of the market. They're trying to beat the returns. So what direct indexing now has uh, come into play is the idea that we'll tack on the name of indexing because it's become pretty popular in the last, let's call it 10 years, give or take. And they're kind of riding on the coattails of the index phenomenon that's been going on in the markets. So when you throw that name on there, people now we are getting a little bit confused as to, is this actually indexing? If I were to go out and buy an index fund, or is this actually something different? So in its simplest form, it's really a strategy where an advisor or a separate account manager is going out or both. You could have two different strategies and still call it direct indexing. They're going out and they're buying individual stocks and they're calling it indexing because they initially try to target to an index, let's say the S&P 500 that many viewers might be familiar with. So they'll go out and they'll buy close to maybe 500 stocks, depending on how they structure that. There is a concept called sampling where they might be able to reduce the number of holdings to sort of mimic the returns of the S&P without buying all 500 individual stocks. But you Why would own. they do that? Why would they sample? Well, so you don't own as many stocks. It's a little bit easier to manage the portfolio. And if they can get the same return as the S&P by doing that, they'll go out and, and do that. So the idea with that is they're trying to, to match the returns of the market. But where today's new phenomenon comes in with direct indexing is, is that they're not just trying to do that. They're letting a, an end client or an advisor, depending on who's doing this customization, to customize the index. So as you begin to look at it and say, well, I don't want certain stocks in there, whether it's because of social, uh, environmental or, or governance, ESG concepts, uh, socially responsible investing, some clients like to use. So they'll go out and pick out stocks they don't want that don't meet their socially responsible uh, screens and, and uh, systems that they put in place to, to screen the stocks. And then also they look at it in they basically uh, don't stop there. They go on and say, okay, what else do you want to do? Do you want to customize this in other ways? You just don't like a certain stock for a certain reason. So once you start doing all this, you're not indexing anymore. So that's it starts out as direct indexing from a marketing standpoint, but then it kind of morphs into this full-blown active strategy of picking stocks and putting different criteria on it to develop really a strategy that's very specific to that person. And it's not an index, it's just their specific investment strategy. So hopefully that was a little bit of a mouthful and kind of kept it a little bit simple, but go ahead, Sarah, ask away. <laughs>